Hi, today I would like to talk about how to include logging in your C sharp programs. And logging is actually extremely useful if you are going to design a program to be used in production because uh, the customers or field engineers or some other people can get the log from your application and help you debug issues that might arise in the field. So let's get started. Uh, first thing you want to do to include logging is to uh, uh, get a, a NuGet package and it's called log4net and it's from the Apache library and it's an excellent package that is very flexible and you can use it for logging. Uh, you can get it through NuGet or you can also uh, read more about it going to NuGet and search for log4net. So once you have the package, uh, what you want to do is a uh, few uh, things. You usually it needs a configuration file so you can create a configuration file. Here I'm showing you an example is called a log4not.xml and this is a configuration file. Uh, usually in the bottom you would have something called the logger, the name of the logger. So in this case I have the name of the logger as task. So first thing you want to do uh, in your program or somewhere is to create uh, a log, a logger and the way to do it is you call log manager, get logger and you give it the name, this particular name in this case is task. And to set up this logger uh, or what you have to do is you can use a uh, something called the file info initializes a new instance of the file info class and which acts as a wrapper so you can do that then uh, once you have that uh, this is a static call on the log 4 net config xml configurator and you can call configure and you give this the file info because this is the name of the file and you give it here and you can set the host if you want the environment.machines uh, in terms of uh, the logger I'm using, see this logger is pointing to the task appender. This appender is a log4net and uh, it's a rolling file appender. So there are various Apache appenders, but I prefer this one is fairly generic. In terms of the file value, you just give it the name of the file where you want the logs to be collected. And you can say append to file is true and uh, some various options. In terms of how you're going to print the data, there are some parameterization you can do. I usually like to do the date. Then you can have the logger, which logger logged it, and then there's a message and new line. So once you have that basically set up this log, uh, you can invoke different methods on it. So I'm showing you a few examples. So this was just calling to set up this info, info message, debug, error, and fatal. And let's just uh, run this thing and see what it does. And uh, right now it's just going to uh, run it through and you can bear with me for a second. And it should just take uh, a second to um, get to the uh, <coughs> results. And uh, here you go. So I just uh, broke and you can see it's uh, doing this uh, logging and then it uh, created an opening writing file for log.task appender and it appended some things and added all that, okay. So if you look at the actual uh, log <coughs> file, uh, what it, it has is pretty straightforward and I'm going to show you in uh, two ways. So if you look at the open this log file, for example, so here you can see the logger is the task this is a logger and this is the info debug error fatal and you can see how the messaging was appended because i had run it before so it's doing it twice so one other neat thing you can do with this uh, uh, logger is instead of looking at it as a text file you can use a program called log4 view and there is a community edition for it and as you can see it comes up very nicely uh, the this is um, error message would show up in the uh, red and in different colors and the fatal is going to be in a different color so you can use that you can do various filtering and other things if you want to learn how to do a more elaborate filtering you can go to this uh, website log4 view and download the community edition and play around with it so hopefully uh, you should now be able to create uh, log files for all your uh, programs if you want to search for this video or any other video uh, related to programming or anything else you can just basically go to my website and you can say 
search for some things uh, let's say i'm just searching for wcf so here i'm searching for one video thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day